Quand les jours fiche Jackson and I'm back again with another video. Thank you guys so much for your love and support, especially to my returning subscribers. It's crazy to think that I can like sit here and talk to certain people and they're like, yeah, I'll be watching your videos and I'm like, wow, it's crazy because like at first nobody was watching my videos at all. It's like nobody. But I've been asked to recreate this look by a couple people on campus, and so that's what we are doing today, I know. I haven't done a makeup video in a while, but we're here, and we're doing it now. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so I did my brows off camera, and then I, I took some foundation and concealer, and I mixed them together so that there were several shades lighter than my natural skin tone then i picked up my bh cosmetics take me back to brazil palette and picked up this really bright orange eyeshadow color and the reason why i'll usually try to pick a concealer that's several shades lighter than my natural skin tone is when i'm using really bright colors it's hard for them to show up on my skin tone so it just helps them show up more opaque without looking ashy like it would if you used a white base and so now I'm just going to take this orange that I used before, mixing it with the red, and I'm going to pack it in in the same way just to make sure that orange really pops. And then I'm going to pack in with a crease brush instead of a base shadow brush, um, these two yellow colors, and I'm going to make sure I keep it in my crease. Okay, are we not gonna acknowledge how crusty I was just now? Like, did you see that face? Okay subscribers really be getting on me for saying crusty and it's not like I'm like putting myself down like to me being crusty is like you did something funny and you ugly for that like man like my face was really crusty at that moment so don't read too much into it but I'm just gonna take this Revlon eyeliner do my wing and now I'm taking my Fenty foundation making a mess everywhere but I'm just going to rub it on my face and blend it in and do what it do also let me know in the comments down below if you guys want like a tutorial on anything specific just so I know what kind of videos I should be making for you guys like what kind of things you're interested in so like I could do like a brow tutorial or like my go-to makeup routine so just let me know in the comments below about that and be sure to give this video a thumbs up and so I'm making sure to blend this out. And then I realized that this is way too light. So then I went back and then changed the color of my concealer. And now I'm just going to just cover my face so I look like a warrior. And then I'm going to blend, 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 blend it out on my face. And yeah. Now I'm just going to take my black opal cream contour and I'm going to be very light with putting this on because it's highly, highly pigmented. And then I'm just going to blend it out. Now I'm just going to take this Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette and using the middle shade, I'm going to use this large kabuki brush to put it all over my face and then this foundation brush to blend it out. Then I'm going to go back in with the contour shade of that and I'm going to use this angled contour brush. I don't know what the name of it, but it, all these brushes are from Real Techniques. And I'm going to use my ABH palette in bronze and you can tell that I use this color so 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 much for my highlight I'm going to highlight the areas that I like to highlight which is my inner corner my brow bone my cheeks and my nose so what I'm going to do now is take my Mario Badescu facial spray and my NYX dewy finish setting spray and spritz both of those things onto my face so I have a nice glowy finish without it being too wet because my skin type is oily then I'm going to take two pinky colors 
from CoverGirl for my lips and then finish it off with my Fenty lip gloss. Guys, so now we have come to that point of the video where it's time to go. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. It came out way cuter and I, thanks to this look, have a new cartoon animation. So a new YouTube intro will be coming soon that I'm working on. But if you haven't already, what are you doing? Make sure you hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bar so you get a notification every time I post a video. But stay tuned for more videos, and thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. Bye!